Okay, and sorry to interrupt you, but how about pumps? Like the pump will continue to run, or you will also no, isolate no, no, the pump? Sir, we we will isolate the pump. Okay, we will isolate. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So your name is Jayawardhan Singh, right? Yes, sir. So tell me something about yourself, sir. Uh, I am from Falna, Rajasthan. It is a small village near Jodhpur, uh, in Rajasthan. I have done my primary education from Falna and from in CBSE, and I have done my twelfth standard from RBSE board. After that, I have opted for B Tech Marine Engineering, and I have I am currently doing B Tech Marine Engineering from Manit Pune. Jayawardhan, tell your two strengths which will be helpful for our company. Sir, uh, I believe that my first strength is that I am a very hardworking person. Whatever work that is being given to me by any of the senior staff or the or my teachers, I make sure that I always complete it on time. And the second thing is that uh, I believe that I am a team player because I have always been in sports uh, in which the teams are involved, like cricket and football. And uh, plus, I have also contributed a lot in many uh, technical projects from on behalf of college. And in those projects also, I have worked on. Uh, I have worked with my team members, and we have managed to achieve what we had set out to achieve. Okay, very good. Your college offers two courses, right? B Tech Marine Engineering and B S C Nautical Science. Yes, sir. And you have opted B Tech Marine Engineering. Is yes, there sir. any specific reason for that? Yes, sir. There is a specific reason. The reason being that uh, when I was in school in eleventh uh, standard, I opted for science because I always wanted to become an engineer. And uh, I chose marine engineering because uh, I was always inclined towards this field. And in nautical science, I did not have much interest, and I always thought that I cannot uh, give a lot to that particular subject as compared to marine engineering. Okay, Jayawardhan, let's move uh, move towards uh, technical questions. Yes, sir. So, can you tell me what are the different operations which you can carry out on a lathe machine? Yes, sir. There are various operations that we can carry out on lathe machines. first one is knurling second is turning third is facing fourth is drilling fifth is boring and chefing sir these are the various operations that we can carry out on lathe machine can you tell me at what speed you should uh, carry out the facing operation like it should be a high speed or low speed do you have any idea about this sir uh, Sorry, sir. I am not able to recall it right okay, now. Okay, okay, no problem. So, Jayawardhan, can you tell me the construction portion of fresh water generator, the plate type one? Yes, sir. In a plate type fresh water generator, first of all, we have an outer shell, and uh, inside there are two parts. One is uh, evaporator, and second is condenser. Both are having plates, and uh, in uh, evaporator, uh, in the plates we have four connections. First is for uh, jacket water. and uh, second is for first is for inlet and outlet of jacket water and second is for inlet and outlet of sea water and we also have eductor uh, which is uh, sometimes the same eductor in uh, plate type fresh water generator is used for the removal of brine and also air from the system we also have salinometer we have a distillate pump so these are the various components of a plate type fresh water generator okay okay So can you tell me the pressure testing of uh, shell and tube type of heat exchanger uh, let us assume that on your ship there is one cooler for stern tube lube oil yes so tell me the procedure right from the isolation like what are the steps you will follow to isolate the cooler and after that tell me the procedure how will you carry out the pressure testing of the shell and tube type cooler sir first of all to isolate the cooler we will uh, switch over to we will switch over the system to the standby cooler and let us assume we don't have any standby cooler okay sir then uh, if it is a main engine lube and cooler then uh, in no i am i am putting you in a uh, situation where you have the stern tube lube oil cooler okay. and your ship is at port okay okay sir Yes, please tell me. If it is a stern tube, stern tube lube oil cooler, and the ship is at port, then uh, at that time we do not need the lube oil cooler. So at that time, we can close the inlet and outlet of the lube oil, lube oil side of the uh, lube oil cooler, and also we can close the inlet and outlet side of the cooling water, which is going through the tubes. And after after doing this, we drain the cooling water from the tubes. Okay, and sorry to interrupt you, but how about pumps? like the pump will continue to run or you will also no, isolate no, no. the pump sir we we will isolate the pump okay we will isolate so now please continue and after that we will uh, there is a drain connection provided for the drainage of the cooling water from the tubes we will drain the lube oil uh, we will drain the cooling water and after that we will open the one open one end cover and uh, after opening the end cover 
there is one uh, air connection provided on top of the lube oil cooler we will supply uh, we will supply air at a pressure of 2.2 2.5 to 3 bar okay and it will pressurize the inside of the inside of the lube oil cooler and because of this pressure the lube oil will go inside the tubes and if any lube oil uh, if there is a leakage in any of the tubes for it, it will not go inside the tubes but because of the pressure if there is any leakage inside the tube then lube oil will go inside the tube through that leakage and it will come out from the outlet of the tube okay from there you can find out that yes, which sir. tube is leaking yes sir yeah everyone thank you for this okay, okay thank you so much for your time sir okay